Three. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. I am Tarnisha and I'm Dominique and today's video will be another keeping it real with TND But first and foremost if you haven't Hey, listen to me <laughs> <laughs> If you haven't go ahead and hit that subscribe oh, yeah. button get this get this video a thumbs up comment like share Let us know, you know, keep it going But today's topic is a very good topic and basically me and sis came up with this topic just like like you see, you see my fingers like really that quick anyways it's counseling out the yes people around you in your circle right. so without further ado let's get right into the video um so i think people some people might have different definitions of what a yes person may be some people may think that a yes person around them is just somebody that literally just tells them yes all the time mm -hmm. but it can be different variations of what a yes person is because a yes person can be somebody that <coughs> oh, excuse me, y'all. So a yes person can be somebody that's around you that knows your potential and they don't push you. Right. It can be someone that, that literally will limit you. They will know certain things that you're able to do and they will see you lacking and not say anything to you. They just keep you around and keep you comfortable and they just stay around you and it's just like they just, they're just comfortable around you. So I feel like that's my definition of what a yes person is because if you're around me and you know my potential and you know what I'm capable of mm -hmm. and you see me lacking or you see me slacking in a certain area and you don't say anything to me, you don't push push me, you know what I'm saying, to go further and do what I'm supposed to be doing, then you're a yes person. You're somebody that's just there to keep me comfortable and keep me in the same, you know, perspective as you. And sometimes the yes people around you, it could be different reasons why. Maybe they don't feel comfortable, you know, pushing you or saying something to you. They don't know how to approach you. Or it could be that they're just playing jealous of you and they don't want to see you go further. So they're not going to push you. And if you have people like that around you, you have to really take a step back. You have to look around. You have to reevaluate you know, the people that you have around you in your circle. Yeah, because I feel like a lot of people get comfortable in their situations. Mm -hmm. Like, for instance, like business people. Um, say if um, Sif, I'm just using names. Sif is like the head hunch on the company. And she right. got 10 people under her. And she don't like to take um, criticism. You know what I'm saying? She don't like for nobody to tell. Some people like that. Some, like, some people like keeping people beneath them. Some people mm -hmm. like to keep yes, yes. people underneath them so their ego can continue to feel boosted and, mm -hmm. and, and, and bolded because it don't matter if you are a billionaire everybody lack in some area yes. and you need people around you that's going to keep it 100% thorough with you right. at all times like for instance for my sister you know I'm hard on my sister because I want her to see the potential that I see in her mm -hmm. I already know what my sister going to be I already know what she's capable of, but and vice versa. I yeah. want I want her to see it. So I'm hard on her because I want her to see it. And just imagine if I always tell her what she want to hear, mm -hmm. keeping her complacent, keeping her comfortable in in the situation that she's in. She would never get to her her level. And right. you need people around you like that because you know what I'm saying. Like I see a lot in the business perspective how these business owners they don't want nobody else above them. Mm -hmm. If I'm a company. I don't want 10 people around me that's underneath me. I want 10 right. different people that get 10 different levels either no, above different me things, or, right. you know what I'm saying, in a different category because we can all connect and bring something different to the table for each other. And I and I hate to see that because it's like if, if, if you're a billionaire, your, your workers should be billionaires. Mm -hmm. And your workers should be working for you. Around your you. workers right. shouldn't be working for you for life unless that's, they, that's what they want to do. The like ultimate goal. The, the ultimate goal is to put you in position to make you higher and put your family, you right. know what I'm saying? And I just feel like you know what I'm saying? So, so, so long. And I had a lot of people like that around me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I don't know if they were just intimidated or scared to just right. tell. Because sometimes mm -hmm. people want to tell you something, but they don't know how to tell you. Yeah, because exactly. it's a lot of people that cannot take constructive criticism. Yeah, it is. And you should be able to take that, like, it does from your mama, your family, worker, anybody that's around you and that's, and that's an asset to your life. Right. You know what I'm saying? And like Sis said, like, I didn't really look at it the way that you looked at it because mm -hmm. I kind of thought of it like a business mind because I see so much of it like with business. Right. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, people... be in life and you know, life right. in you know. Like, you know, because like, like Sis said, you don't want to have a friendship with somebody for 10, 15 years and right. every time they, they say yes to this. Yeah, you, you present some of them this yes, this yes. Right. And some people like that, but you got to think about it. You, if you got somebody telling you yes all the time and you don't want to hear nobody else else point of view, 
then you might as well just listen. It's like basically you listen to yourself anyway. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get advice from nobody else. Like, and you should. Like, now everybody cannot give you advice. Now, right. That's so, true. you know, they everybody don't, don't be knowing what they be talking from, about. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody don't be, everybody don't be knowing what they be talking about. They just be trying to pop stuff. But right. the people that you, that hold value asset to your life, they should be able to tell you something and you should be able to not so much take it as, Oh, this person hating or this person right. don't want to see me shine. You should take it to heart like, hmm, let me step back. Let me reevaluate some things, you know what I'm saying, and come right. back to the table. Because right. I feel like that makes you a better person. It does. And I feel like if you have people around you or just, you know, friends, family, anybody you're close to that's around you, your everyday life, and they know you, I feel like if those people never really come to you and tell you something about yourself that you can make better if it comes up in a conversation, then those people are really not for you and they don't really know right. you. Because a person that really knows you, they're going to be able to identify where you're weak at right. and they're going to be able to tell you like, hey, yeah, you're doing good here, you're doing good there right. and I like how this going and how you treat this right. but it's some certain things that you can work on mm -hmm. and if they can feed you in that type of manner and they can identify those things and help you to see something from a different perspective mm -hmm. and help you to be like oh I, I do do that you know what I'm saying or oh, I am lacking that area and they bring you to that senses and I feel like there's somebody that really knows you and, and, and it's good to be around you but if you have people that are around you that are constantly keeping you at a certain level and they're always telling you, yeah, that works. Yeah, that's good. Everything that you do is not going to be good. It's right. not going to work. So if you have people that's around you that's constantly just feeding you the same thing, I mean, that's a way to identify that you have a yes person around you. Mm -hmm. Because yes, people are going to tell you whatever they need to tell you or whatever they feel like you need to hear. Right. Versus if you have somebody that's around you that's hard on you and that's able to pinpoint certain things and pull them out. And I'm not saying somebody that's constantly badgering you and badgering you and bringing you down right. and speaking negativity over you. But I'm I'm saying somebody that you know is able to identify certain things in you and point them out and then you're able to see those just like my sister like like most of the time I'm gonna be honest I don't like getting criticism from her because she's my sister she's my big sister that so everything that she say I take it you know and I hold it a different standard than other people so sometimes it might hit me it's like dang she feel this certain type of way about me but when I go back and, and I'm stubborn anyway y'all so that's just that's she just my personality she a Taurus, like, <laughs> I'm just ugh. stubborn anyway so I hate it. that's just how it is with me anyway but when I I'm taking it in even though it might see, seem like I'm not perceiving it and I'm not receiving it all the way like I'm really taking it in and I'll go back and I'll evaluate and then my sister see like I'll come around and I'll start doing things differently mm -hmm. like just like she said I wouldn't be the businesswoman I am today if it wasn't for my sister oh, and I learned sense. yeah and I learned so much from her because she pushes me to stay on top of things and to make sure that I'm being the, the best that I can be. And it has helped me to grow a lot. And I'm not 100%, but I'm getting there. And I know that if I slack up or if I lack in the area, I know that I got somebody right there that's going to be like, hey, like, no, nah, you're not doing this right, sis, or you need to do this or you need to do that. So it's very essential to have someone right. like that around you, whether it be your family, mm -hmm. it could be a teacher, it could be, you know, your anybody. Nail tech, your, your stylist. And the right. thing is, if you don't have nobody, if you, if, and, and look at this video and, t and take it into consideration. If you don't have, if, if you, if your, your group of people that's around you is not telling you this, mm -hmm. you know, you need to step back and reevaluate because something right. is wrong because nobody's perfect and right. we all have little flaws in us. And like my sister said, if they're around you, they should be able to see that mm -hmm. and they should be able to pinpoint it and bring it out because anybody that's, that's around me that know Nisha T, that know me. I didn't, I didn't motivate them in some way or told them something. Rather, mm -hmm. they didn't want to. And I'm the type of person, like my sister is stubborn. And some people, when they got people like that, they back off. You mm -hmm. got no, you got to keep going because right. I know if I don't, I know if she don't get it, then I'm not. That, that's 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 not. I'm, that means my mission is not complete. Mm -hmm. I can't go to sleep knowing that you know what I'm saying God put something on my heart or I felt something mm -hmm. to tell someone and I don't tell them because they don't take it in the way that I take it and my sister have taught me just because she don't verbally say that I hear you that don't mean that she don't hear you right. because I'm the type of person I, I you gonna have to communicate with me like you need to tell me out your mouth but she taught me that like just because I don't say verbally out my mouth right. or I feel or it. I might I not my body language might not match I still feel you so mm -hmm. thank you sis because you taught me that and yeah because I would cut people I used to like cut people off when they did that like because I thought it was like very disrespectful for someone to come to you that love you and care about you and to you know what I'm saying put you up on game with somebody else not gonna put you up on game mm -hmm. about then you just like shut down so right. you taught me to how to you know what I'm saying maneuver different with that right and I think a part of that as well um, with having yes people around you. I think it plays a part as well when you have people around you 
that um, don't challenge you to think higher or you're the smartest person in your circle. And I've just learned that because usually any relationships, and I'm talking about relationships as in friendships, family, whatever, any relationships that I have been in, mm -hmm. I have always been, I don't, I'm not trying to toot my own horn or say something, you know, that makes make me seem higher than anybody else, but I have always been the smartest person right. or smarter than most people around me. And so it, it kind of put me in a bubble. So when I got to a place where I was in a conversation with somebody that knew more than me, it was kind of like I shut down, like, and I got offensive. And when I look back at the conversation, I, I felt like it was pulling at certain things in me and it was challenging me more. And I was like, no, this is the type of relationship that I need to have. This is the type of relationship that I need to be engaging in. Mm -hmm. And it made me realize that everything else that I was engaging in was small. I had elevated from that level and I was so used to being able to spew out certain things and say certain words and people didn't know it. And then I got into a conversation where, you know what I'm saying, this person was saying words that I didn't know. So it challenged me to go home like, you know, I need to up my vocabulary. Right. Right. So, I mean, that's another thing of having yes people around you. And that's something that I really just identified here in this video because I, I just thought back to the conversation yeah. and I'm just like, it, it challenged me in a different way. Like in a moment, yeah, I kind of got offensive like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know this word or, you know, the way, you know, it's it's just, I can't really explain it, but y'all kind of get what I'm saying. But yeah. then once I look back at it, I'm like, you know, that challenged me and it just helped me to realize that, dang, all these years I've been having conversations and being around people that didn't challenge me. Mm -hmm. They didn't, they didn't motivate me. They just, I just fed them information and they just soaked it up and they weren't able to give anything back to the conversation because they just weren't at that level. Right. And I felt comfortable, you know what I'm saying, being, you know, that smart person or right. being the one that knew a lot of knowledge, but that's that's not good. That's right. not good. If you have a conversation and it doesn't challenge you afterwards and you don't take a step back and try to reevaluate, then that's not a conversation or relationship that you need to be sustained. That's true. And mm -hmm. a lot of like what guys with me, like um a lot of guys, I guess I come off as intimidation only because mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? My mom taught us at an early age, like, we've been working since we were 16. Mm -hmm. We was taught, like, my family called except the go-getters. And when they called except the yeah. go-getters, like, these these are facts. Like, right. my family, they all my aunties all are my hustlers. Own. Yeah, they all have all, all, my, all my aunties yeah. are hustlers. They, they house owners. Mm -hmm. They didn't have four or five cars paid off. Like, they just hustlers. Yes. And that's where I picked it up from. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. All my aunties are hustlers. And, you know what I'm saying? I always had that go-getter mentality. So it's like, when the dude come around, what the last chick chick was used to mm -hmm. is like with me it's like you know it's like bottom of the barrel mm -hmm. and i'm like you know whoa you know who i am you <laughs> right know? you gotta bring it up a and, and and even for fellas too like even with that like you when you elevate and you get them yes people around people will flee mm -hmm. like sometimes i used to be like like dang like this person just dipped on me but the whole time they couldn't handle me they couldn't stand you know me. what i'm saying and one thing about it is never get a person that that some people can't handle you so they'll go get something like a lower than they you. try to get a duplicate of you mm -hmm. but it's like a it's really like a uh what you call it what they be calling gucci a clone yeah <laughs> it's really a clone of you and it just basically soothes their ego because they don't they want somebody below them to where i i know she ain't finna or he right. ain't finna challenge me or he ain't gonna right. make me think yes, you need somebody exactly that's gonna make you it. think at night mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying you can't make me even to this day like in my phone like if you ain't bringing no asset and you ain't making me think, if I ain't, after I text, I ain't going to bed, like... Right, I'm I not looking up books to read no, or something to like, like, what are we talking about? Like, my block finger <laughs> is strong. I don't really, like, like block, like, four people today. For? Like, just yeah. because it's like, and, I ain't, and I'm just going to stop giving it, just don't even give it no attention. Right. If you feel a certain type of way about somebody in the beginning, more than likely it's true. Right. And just save your time and the energy. Like, don't even, don't even waste it, but... If they not challenge you at night, if you ain't going to bed at night, pondering on a oh, conversation or something, 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 something different. you know what yeah. I'm saying, they got to go. You know what I'm saying, there's a lot of people out here that got a lot of, a lot of knowledge to give. Mm -hmm. And not money, money don't mean nothing. Like, it's, right. it could be the most people with the most knowledge ain't got no money, to mm -hmm. be honest. You know what I'm saying, yeah, I learned true. that from my grandmother. My granny got so much wisdom and she just teach me so much things about... You never judge a person or their money mm -hmm. or or their assets. You know what right. I'm saying? You 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 challenge them. Like anybody that I talk to, I challenge them. And if you can't if you can't gravitate to that challenge, then I, I ain't, I'm straight on it. Right. So I feel like you know it's it's plenty of definitions of what a yes person is. Right. And I feel like we gave a lot of different scenarios. Yeah, we did. We did. Um. So just identify what's around you. Identify the people that you know that you're in alignment with. Mm -hmm. And if those people are not helping you to grow, they're not helping you to shine. They're not helping to feed the things that you're doing. Right. Then you need to take a step back and you need to 
you know, just draw yourself away from them. And it's right. hard. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to say it's easy yeah. to just cut people off and block them. Because yeah. sometimes, especially if you have a conscience, you have a heart, you feel bad. But in the end, you have to know if you're trying to grow, if you're trying to go to the next level, if you're trying to get closer to God, then it's some things that you literally just going to have to dead. Without well, no explanation. Without well, no explanation. You don't owe nobody anything. You know, right. you, you truly and you honestly don't owe a soul anything right. you know it's a proper way to do it some people it's just all with your discernment and how you feel that you should go about it right. but i think having people around you that challenge you and having people that are different from you that can teach you things is right. very essential you right. know in your relationships and your growth because we're in a very vital time right now and it's, it's no time for play it's right. no time for no small talk it's no time for no gossip to be talking about a little you know what i'm saying right. petty things it's time for us to get on the grind it's time for us to do what we were set on this earth to do and if you don't know your purpose in this world then that means you're not close enough to him you need to right. get closer to him and you need to make sure and when i say him i mean jesus christ you need to get closer to him and make sure you know what your calling is in life and you know try to identify you know where you're headed. everybody you have one really yes. you have that type of connection with god or not i think that could be a whole video yeah whether you, you have find, it, your calling or whether you like have that connection with a god or not everybody is chosen right. god handpicked everybody. everybody so everybody have a special thing that they need to get done before mm -hmm. their time is up so we just want to say thank you guys for the continued support. Yes. Um, like my like my sis say in every video, whatever you do, if you don't get nothing else from this, you know what I'm saying, just 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 take back and just reflect. Right. Just reflect and just and look at these videos and soak it in. You know what I'm saying? Right. Soak it in and, and be look look at these videos quiet in a quiet place by your mm -hmm. by yourself. Because that's when I can think better. When I ain't right. got the TV on and really people around me. And let it soak in. Right. Mm -hmm. If you haven't already Go ahead and head to my sister website. Everything right. will be down below. She have on, she have on the Miss P lashes, which are yes. which is named by my mom, mm -hmm. and they're like super popping, like they, yes. they fire. My mama was just looking at them. She was like, "Girl, them things lit up." <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? If you ain't got no yes. stacks kit, stacks kit, like I told you, I don't know what you're doing. I don't know right. what you got on your face. If you got them, <laughs> like, quit playing with my sister. But we just want to say thank you guys, and we we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye guys.